Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Samantha Polak. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this bouncy fluffy perm rod set. If you follow me on Instagram, this hairstyle has been all over your screen and already saw the behind the scenes of this video on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out. A few weeks ago I did a blowout. This is how I maintain my blowouts, I put my hair in buns. Sometimes I do wear my hair loose but most of the time my hair is in braids, twists or buns. I'm dividing my hair in sections makes it easier to roll. This is the perm rod I use and these kind of perm rods are available in almost every hair shop in the Netherlands. I've used 9 perm rods on each section. Depending on your hair, I will advise you to use between 12 and 15 perm rods on each section. Because 9 perm rods, it was a struggle. I didn't have enough perm rods, that's the reason I've used 9 perm rods per section. I start in the back and take a small section. I use the double butter cream by SIM. Because my hair is blown out, I don't want my hair too wet. I want my hair to be moisturized. This product, this was my daily moisturizer when my hair was blown out. I've used this on my twist and braids and in this case on my perm rod set. I'm gonna use a little bit on my hair and also gonna add a little bit more on the ends. I'm using my Denman brush to get all the tangles out. Now I'm wrapping the ends on the perm rod. The hair is now secure and all I'm doing is rotating the rod around the hair. So I want my hair to fall forward and that's the reason why I'm sectioning the hair like this. Again I'm gonna repeat the steps and I also forgot to mention that I'm using an oil. I'm using a yoba oil just to add more shine. So again, you want to roll the hair around the perm rod. When the hair is secure, you want to rotate the perm rod around the hair. In this way, you get much more hair fitting on the perm rod. Now that I have 2 or 3 inches left, I rotate and roll the perm rod around the hair. And you don't want to do this when your perm rod is almost at the roots. Because you don't want to snatch your hair out, you don't. All is done and now I'm going off to bed. This was the worst thing to do. I was only thinking about the next day the final results. I'm taking down the perm rods by rotating around the hair. I separate the curls where it naturally wants to separate. If you want more volume, you have to separate more. The final step is using a white tooth comb because I love volume. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. 
If you're gonna create this hairstyle, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see this. Until my next video, bye!